Hey guys, let's talk about economic capital for credit risk. For any bank or financial institution's effective capital management, the starting point is the regulatory capital, that is, the capital computed in accordance with Basel III capital adequacy framework. The next step is, development of economic capital framework. In banking industry, the economic capital refers to, the amount of equity required by a bank, to cover a maximum potential future loss, based on probabilistic assessment. Unlike traditional capital, economic capital does not take into account the capital held by the bank, it rather takes into account the capital required by a bank at a certain level of risk. Therefore, economic capital is a forward-looking and risk-based measure of capital adequacy of a bank. Banks use economic capital model as a tool primarily for two purposes, capital allocation and performance assessment. Within a bank, each business line is allocated economic capital to produce optimum return, in line with the strategy, and risk appetite of the bank. Capital usage is regularly monitored, and mitigating measures are taken if capital usage exceeds the limit. Also, capital usage metrics are set and performance of business lines, are evaluated against such metrics. Basel Committee on Banking Supervision has published research paper entitled, Range of Practices and Issues in Economic Capital Frameworks, in March 2009. As per the paper, the success or failure of an economic capital framework in a bank, can be assessed by looking at, how business line managers perceive the constraints economic capital imposes, and the opportunities it offers, in the following areas. Credit Portfolio Management Risk-based pricing Customer profitability analysis, customer segmentation, and portfolio optimization, and Management incentives It has been proven that, frequency of loss in banks and financial institutions, follows a log normal distribution, that is, the logarithm of the loss value is normally distributed. The log normal distribution is a distribution, skewed to the right. The distribution frequency increases to its mode, and decreases thereafter. Banks and financial institutions compute expected loss, which is the average or mean point of the distribution, and such loss is provided for in the books of accounts, by way of provision for expected loss. Expected credit loss is computed multiplying probability of default of the counterparty, the loss given default and exposure at default. However, the possibility of loss still remains beyond mean point. Therefore, banks and financial institutions are required to maintain economic capital, to meet the loss beyond the mean point of the loss distribution, up to desired confidence level. Banks and financial institutions compute economic capital for counterparty credit risk, by using Monte Carlo simulation method, or value at risk method. For credit portfolio risk modeling, banks and financial institutions often use Moody's KMV, credit metrics, and credit risk plus. Wow. <laughs>